up? Yo, today we're going to be starting on some sword bursts. I'm going to be going over certain things you need to focus on sword burst 3 um, that just released about a couple days ago. Um, and pretty much I'm going to go over the menu, leveling up, all this stuff. Pretty much trying to break down the leveling guide for you guys to get the most out of your experience. So um, let's go. Pretty much this is the beginning right here. This is the beginning. Um, first thing I want to break down is that you have a menu button down here on your right, right? On the bottom right. And this right here is going to be showing you your stats on the bottom left. And then a lot of people have been asking about stats. And I believe it's the burst, which is like your move sets and upgrading your move sets. So like, as you can see, I have 12 skill points, right? So with the skill points, you're pretty much going to go here and you're going to unlock it. And then you could just, you could click it again and press equip. And then you could choose a slot where you want to pretty much put where you want that. Your inventory, obviously you have your inventory, you have your weapons, armors, materials, mounts, and cosmetics, which are auras. These are your mounts that actually we'll go over the mounts later. So, um, but first thing you want to do is go over here and talk to this gentleman or gentle they, whatever you want and go to quest. And this is pretty much what you're going to do until you're level three. When you click new adventure, you're going to accept, it's going to say, defeat five razor boars the best place to farm the boars are right over here where these guys are at you see right behind the building right here boom you see how they they have these boars spawning best place to uh get your five kills and you're gonna go pretty much follow the trail all the way to this entrance over here oh and this right here is uh pretty much an upgrade uh this is something that you might want to understand later but this is the stuff that you can upgrade like uh, these rubies i think there's other stuff like amethy amethyst you want to collect these amethyst because uh they're gonna upgrade your weapon um a lot of people say don't upgrade your weapon like early in the game because you're gonna get new stuff anyways but it just makes sure if you could just keep upgrading your stuff regardless um you don't have to worry about <clears throat> upgrading your stuff once you get to like level 20 or once you get to like the other levels of the game so level 20 or 30 um don't worry about leveling up your stuff uh, because it get it does get expensive. It really does get expensive. But with your amethyst, it's this stuff right here in your menu. So you go to materials. These things right here, these pure pure topaz and pure rubies and pure aquamarines, those are going to be used to upgrade like or enchant stuff. Enchanting you'll learn more later on in the game. That's like something that like you're going to need um, need to know when you enchant your stuff. Uh, enchanted stuff looks like this. You see how I have like crit, crit, and attack. I'll show you guys later on in the video. But um, once you're done, you just go over to this guy. Uh, this is going to be another quest that you want to accept. This two right here. These are really important. These waystones are very important. You are going to want to get these as much as possible. If you see one, make sure you use it because you'll use it to warp in different places, as you can see. Uh, because traveling is... If you don't have a mount, traveling is terrible. But I'll tell you guys more about mounts later on. Ah, here you go. Enchanting. This is enchanting. So you want to go here, and if you want to enchant stuff, you can. Um, as you can see, I'm not going to roll on these ones, like my legendary stuff, because I already have, like, what I want on there. But I could use a random one, um, if I could find one. Uh, well, someone that has a ruby. Ah, here. So you see, you can enchant, enchant whatever you want, but, like... Once you enchant something, is there like an epic here? You enchant something, it costs 900 to enchant like different levels of blades. So like the infernal for armor is like the end game stuff that you want to get right now at level 45. It's that last boss of world two, I believe. Level two, whatever. Um, but yeah, when you press this, you, you get you get these pure rubies, right? You're gonna have a lot of those, and you're gonna have you're gonna need gold. And then once you press enchant, it's gonna choose what it wants to buff your item pretty much that's what it pretty much what it is so oh eight percent attack i might want to use that i think i have eight percent attack on mines already let me see ah yeah i do have eight percent attack on mines yeah eight percent attack so yeah this is something later on down the road you'll learn about builds of what you want to do and um right here on your burst you could choose like katana swords and great swords those are something that you might want to focus on um each sword has different abilities um i use dual wield i'll, I'll make a video about dual wielding later on down the road because it's just like a cracked class like it, i mean it's it is a pay to win thing but it's worth it it's, it's definitely worth it and just keep following this trail once you get to a certain level ah here we go mounts <clears throat> um you see how like i collected that that or that boar thing this right here allows you to craft a mount 
Um, I need to get this mount. I want to get this mount. I need 20 of these. I have like one of them, right? Um, but yeah, you have to obtain these items that these NPCs drop, right? Um, you could buy it with the crystals or you could buy it with Veil, which is the money currency in the game. Um, this is a lava basilisk. I kind of want to make the lava basilisk basilisk. But um, right here, the Hellhound's like the best one because they only go to 30 to 40 speed. So, but um, yeah, these, this is guys where you craft your mounts. That's pretty much it. Level up. Once you get to a certain level, um, here, I'm going to show you a level. Uh, right here. This is the spot right here. Once you get through all those quests. Oh, here, Aquamine. See, you could actually farm this stuff and you'll get, you'll get some stuff out of it. Watch. Boop, boop, boom. And then you could pick up the pure aquamarine. Yo, no way. That's a pure. Um, but yeah, you'll talk to this adventure. Once you reach level 20, it's going to ask you to do a level 20. Um, so your goal is to get to level 20, get to the tower dungeon. It's going to ask you to do this. Once you click it, it'll tell you to defeat like a certain amount of mobs. And you talk to this person and they're going to open this door. Once you're done with that, you just go through the door. And remember, make sure you get this waystone, dude. Make sure you get this waystone. Cause you could travel everywhere and look see boom you talk to this person amber quest level 20 minions uh minion hunt right so you're just gonna defeat these minions over here so when you finish a quest here i'll just go back and grab the quest and i'll show you what i'm talking about because a lot of people are like what how come i gotta do i have to go back to the person to get their quest no you do not need to go back to the person and get the quest it will prompt you and ask you do you want to repeat this quest it's going to tell you, yes, repeat the quest. Boom. You press claim, right? And then it's asked you, can you uh, repeat the quest. You put no or yes. Obviously, I could say yes. And if I say yes, it's going to repeat the quest and rinse and repeat. Ah, I didn't get this chest. Be aware of these chests that are walking around or laying around. You can open them and they'll give you like items. I wonder what I got. Ooh, a pure aquamarine. That's good. I'd rather take the pure aquamarine to upgrade my my items later on down the road. But after that, you're just going to, after you're done uh, farming those guys, you pretty much just go to the next quest. What's in here? Let me see. Anything crazy? Is there is there a chest that I need to pay attention to? There might be a chest in here. Let's see. Mm, ah, yes. See? A chest. There you go. Open. Hmm. It gave me a sword. See, these chests give you swords too, bro. Oh, I think this is like the last part of the fine, the first like level. So when you talk to this person, you have to be level 23 to finish the final boss. That's like one thing that you want to get to is level 23 to finish the final boss. This is the final boss for pretty much the first level. Um, he spawns in 10 seconds. I guess I could, I guess I could do this. I guess these are the drops right here that they drop. Pure Aquamarine and Legendaries. If you want to farm these, you can and stay here until you level up. Because this boss gives you a good amount of um, XP. Here, let me just let me just piece this guy up real quick, dude. Yep. Yeah. 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 Let me get that. Let me get that. That don't scare me, bro. I eat those. Yo, what I get? Pure Aquamarine? Yeah, 50% chance. But once you finish that boss, you you could just you could stay here and farm these if you like. It's really up to you. It gives you a good amount of XP as at a low level, so just do that because you're gonna do the same thing later on. I'll show you a boss that you could farm in the second level, which is floor two. Um, this is the new Arcadia. This is a place where you could actually trade and find people to give you stuff or you could trade stuff or you could buy stuff with your veil or your gold that in-game currency stuff but let's uh floor three is going to be coming out march 1st which is awesome um so we're going to teleport to floor two um as you can see it's uh, a little different here uh mobs do a lot more damage so you could talk to this person and then it gives you more quest um stinging problem there's no way around it dude you're gonna have to do the quest to level up that gives you the most but um staying in this area right here gen is generally fine on farming bees or you could just go all the way down here and be surrounded by multiple bees and don't forget to grab that waypoint by the way didn't, didn't say that but um generally it's easier to just go in the midst of everything and 
fight them head on. You see what I mean? Um, if you don't feel comfortable fighting the big guy, I mean, it's it's really honestly up to you how you want to play the game. But um, yeah. Yeah, let's fight him. Hopefully he gives me something cool. Ooh, see Topaz. There's a difference between Topaz and Pure. So just remember that. There's like two bosses that we were farming. to One, to get drops, and two, just to level up. So, um, here, I'm gonna show you. Here, let me help this guy out because it looks like he's struggling. All right, there you go. What did I get? Did I get anything in here? All right, whatever. Um, right here, this guy. You can talk to this guy. His glasses are off. You go to the quest and Jaguar hunt, right? Jaguar hunt. I'm gonna show you where the best way to best place to farm the Jaguars. And it's going to be right over here in this in this vicinity right here, because there's three Jaguars that are just going to be here in general. Um, here, let me just kill that one. And then there's one over here. Boom. And there's one over here. Yep. And then just wait for the other three. Like once you're done killing the third one, the other one pops up already. Uh, man, once you're done killing this one, this one pops up ready. You see what I mean? So just keep that in mind. Yeah, and then I'll finish. No, don't don't repeat. So yeah, it's just like automatic. So um, once that's done, again, once you get to here, this is where I started enchanting stuff um, and enchanting my items. But when I started getting more gold, but I was like, whatever. Um, but once you're done with that, I mean. Once you get to level, was it 28, I think, from here? Once you get to level, once you get to, once you finish level 28 here, once you get to 28, this is what I want you to do. Go over here and farm this boss right over here. This is where you should be at right here. You wanna farm this boss over and over and over and over. This is where I got like my levels. I was getting my levels and I was getting drops. And I was getting certain items. This is where you want to farm this right here. Boom. You want to farm these items right here. Over and over and over and over and over. It's like a minute to wait. Um, it's a minute to wait for the boss to respawn. But it's worth it. Yeah. You see? Boom. Hopefully I didn't, I didn't get a drop. But that's one boss you want to farm all the way to like 30. Farm that to 30. And then I'm going to show you. I'm gonna show you the level once you get to 30 you could do the quest but i'm gonna show you another boss where you could level up really really fast from here oh like a basilisk uh you could go here if you want if you want to like be at level 28 you do the level 28 quest here if you want but i just farmed that boss until i was like 30 um because just grabbing the quest and bandit beating and not getting any good drops from those guys i was just like uh, i rather i rather rank, level up slightly less and get more drops you know what i mean have a little more rng um look more topaz you can farm here you can farm it let me see if i can get a a pure topaz out of this let's see nope common all right so here's another waypoint you can get right and then i'm gonna show you the other boss you could go to the level 30 here if you want um and do the quest at level 30 and kill these guys i mean you can if you just get bored you just gotta have like options so you're not like bandit beating and being bored but if you want to get levels and drops you're gonna go to this boss right over here boss down here so you just go down you make a left and then and... all right this boss right here level 40 uh, some people will be here with you. I mean, finding people, if you want to join the Discord, you can. You can join the Discord. That would be awesome. But um, this boss right here. And he's going to die here. Boom. There he is. Oh, I got a pure ruby. You see that? And I got something. But yeah, farming this guy right here gives you 50. Just farm this guy until like, I, th I guess you could say 30. What was it? 32? I think it's 32 here let's go double check oh 33 so level 33 it's 33 make sure you're level 33 before you come here um again you can buy armor if you if you if you're feeling rich um there's no enchantment here but you can upgrade your stuff but again if you need to enchant something just go here and then go find a, a place that has an enchantment area uh, like this place right here 
this place has an enchantment. Well, yeah, that's like later on. Um, find like the beginning enchantments. Oh no, beginning. Where's the beginning? Enchantment. Where's it at? Enchantment table right there. So this area. So, um, but once you grab this this uh, this quest here, do not farm in this area. All the mobs are far except those three. But there's two big ones there. There's there's giant ones. Like I said, remember in the beginning, there's like a giant boar. Um, this one's a giant moose, but we don't want to farm in this area. I'll show you where you should farm right over here There are the so the rotation for these ones is gonna be perfect. So like just say You kill this one, right? Boom boom, right you go to this one Boom 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 You go over here and you kill this guy over here once you're done killing this one, this one over here, by the time you get to this area, this one will spawn exactly right when you get to it. Boop, there it is. See? And then, so you're not waiting all the time. And then look, this one spawned already. Boom. And then that one spawns already as well. So that's like, you have to find the perfect spawn points of travel time. So like, that's why people are like, oh man, it's but You just have to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like the best area to spawn because it's... Literally, they'll spawn right when you get to the point where, as you're killing them. The rotation's faster. You could follow the trail, but you don't have to. You could just go th cut through here. The NPC is all the way up here for the for the quest. So just cut through here, and then go up this mountain. Make sure you grab the waypoints again. I'm telling you, go up this mountain, and you'll see a house. This has the enchantment and other upgrades. Um, grab the waypoint, and then boom, you have the tamer. Grab the quest at level 36. Make sure you're at level 36 before you come here. Um, and you could get these golems quest. Rock lava. And I think it's level 38. Make sure you get to level 38. Kill these golems. Oh, right here. This is this is perfect. This is a perfect example. So right here, right? These are extra portals that you could start. Um, and it will give you 1125. If you're doing the quest, I recommend doing this. Because uh, a lot of golems will spawn here. So this right here is a spawn. And there's 10 of them. Right? And then, oh, oh, look at them. They'll just spawn right here. They'll just spawn here. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Boom. And it'll say complete. And it'll give you your XP. It'll tell you obtain Ruby. And you'll get your XP. So, um, those are really, really good for farming as well. So, make sure you keep that in mind. Right here, level 38 Phoenixes. Um, again, you're going to have to go all the way down. But right here is the best spot. Like right in the middle is the best spot to farm your phoenixes um, at the level 38 quest. Because once you get to level 38, everything everything gets a little bit more. Everything gets closer. Level 38 right here. Another door. Pretty much what you're going to do is go to your quest. Level 38, level 40. Boom. You're already almost there. So make sure to get to level 40 to do the fire tower. Once you get to level 40 and you open this door and you do the boss thing, right? The, to open this door, the, she'll give you a quest. You kill the phoenixes, you come back, you talk to her, this door will open. So once you get in here, grab this waypoint. This is where it gets a lot. This is where it gets way more interesting. Um, boom. Quest. Fire minions. Boom. These are the fire minions. Um, right over here, I, I guess this is the best spot right here. The beginning is always the best spot. Because you could farm these guys, right? And then... Oh, I obtained a jade blade? W. There you go. We found it. We found it. This is the end game right here. So you talk to her. This is where you're going to get your quest. Oh, it is 42. 42 and then 43 is Fire Lord. So make sure you do that. Um, once you finish the level 43, this gate is going to open up. And pretty much you're at the end boss for floor two. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, man, how, how do you level up so fast? Dude, there's no other way to level up is just do the quest. And as you go, you'll find out the best farm areas. So like you see, this is the final boss right here. This is where you want to uh, go for end game drops, as you can see. Right here, end game, it's 1% per. So yeah, that's pretty much how you level up. I mean, that's that's what it is. I mean, 
that's how you get to level 45 there's like no other way like the game is super cutthroat that's pretty much that's how you're gonna understand defeating this boss and then once you defeat this boss obviously the next update hasn't came out yet uh, we're looking forward for march 1st is when the next update is gonna drop so hopefully it it drops that day i'm there's no doubt red man's is pretty good at getting giving them updates or giving like the best way possible of like this is what we're gonna do so but yeah this is the last boss the fire lord um this is what we're gonna we farm as much as possible so we can get like the legendary items it only drops legendaries but it's a really low percentage but um yeah that's pretty much it guys <laughs> so hopefully it helps out and in, in the comment section below let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys want to see like maybe like what you guys want to see in the game? Oh, hear her. You can actually, I, I, I can, I actually could die from this guy. Oh, he's gonna die pretty fast. Let's see if I can get a drop here. Come on, guys. All right, here we go. Oh, did I get anything? Oh, I didn't. Dang it. But yeah, pretty much that's the end of the game. That's your pretty much your beginner's guide. But yeah, remember, there's a few things, right? Get your waypoints, do the quest, and um, enchant your stuff upgrade your stuff once you get to this point you can just upgrade your stuff as much as possible but uh don't upgrade too much because obviously there's gonna be updates so but yeah i will see you guys next time in the next video let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see what you guys want to do if you guys want to see best pretty much the best place to farm um and chance what i should have on my items what type of enchantments and how to get gold <laughs> but yeah i'll see you guys later deuces